guys so welcome to my channel my name is Haley I am a mom of four we are in our fifth year of homeschooling today I am talking about why we are switching back to this curriculum so before we get started I'm gonna give you a little bit of a backstory why we switched and now why we are switching back to it grab a cup of coffee a cup of tea I have a tea I'm drinking some black tea and shout out to my mom for giving me this mug a little backstory a few years ago two or three years ago we were using the good and the beautiful and it simply wasn't working for my children now keep in mind this is the time where they had their old editions they recently came out with their new editions. Now I pulled my son out, he went to public school and then I pulled him out and I started homeschooling him. My daughter never went to public school. She never had that formal instruction or teaching until I started homeschooling them. So reading, she did the pre-K, the pre-K, she did the pre-K from the good and the beautiful and we switched to the level K. The level K was not working for her. She was having a hard time um, blending sounds to start reading and sounding out words and reading in general. We did a little less than halfway of the old Reva, the old edition of language arts and we had to stop. We found other things. I'm gonna talk about that in a minute. My son, he was doing, I think either second or third grade of the old language arts from the good and the beautiful. And same thing, I don't know if it's cause I pulled him out of public school and what he was learning was, he wasn't familiar or like he wasn't interested in that curriculum. So I switched them both to Christian Light Education now, don't get me wrong this video is no way bashing any company any curriculum i do believe that you do what works for your child and you make adjustments as you go no matter the age um, the ability or capability of doing something whether they need extra materials to help learn something go ahead and make adjustments as your particular family needs or that one specific child needs and that's what i did there so we switched to christian light education now going back to my daughter i got the learning to read series are set from christian light education and in a way it was holding her back and pushing her back to where she needed to be and i don't and i know a i know that sounds like what are you talking about in the homeschool community world but like she was already learned half the things she learned in that learning to read curriculum and i did the placement test that's what she was placed at and it, it just it was just holding her back whenever i knew she could be doing um something different because she already learned most of the things and i feel like she shouldn't be right there and for my son he did the level he's in fifth grade he should have been doing the fourth grade but i started him on the third grade level of the christian line education because he wasn't um liking the good and the beautiful <clears throat> my son loved the concept and loved that curriculum um, i think this year he just needed more of a change um, i was looking for more of writing style now moving back on to this school year, right whenever I purchased all the curriculum, I purchased um, first grade from Christian Light Education reading and the level four 
reading or grade four reading from Christian Light Education. Um, I would try out this other curriculum for my son that he was enjoying and I did buy the Christian Light Education. He was liking this curriculum and it was just, he wasn't interested in Christian Light Education even though he did love and did the first workbook, he just rather do this instead. So I let him stop using the Christian Light Education. My daughter, the Christian Light Education at level one was not what I expected at all. I started teaching sounds and how you sound it out and what it looks like. So like pup is P-U-P, -P, but to sound it out, it had P-E upside down, P, and I didn't want her to say pep. Um, so I didn't like how it was um, introducing her because I didn't want it to confuse her because she wasn't reading all that well already so we stopped there I just I wasn't trying to mess with it it had all the little uh, apostrophes and asterisks and all that on top of the words I didn't want that confuser so that's why we stopped that so whatever curriculum that they had extra of that we didn't use I sold it all and we just stopped using Christian Light Education that's it that is a wonderful com that is a wonderful curriculum. I loved Christian Light Education. So this is why we're jumping back into the Good and the Beautiful, and I'm explaining to you why I love the Good and the Beautiful. Taking my son out of public school, the Good and the Beautiful was one of the choices I researched and came upon that was like my top three. Um. So that's why we jumped in it firsthand. And this is why we're coming back to it. The language and the map is just filled with beautiful and all full of nature that my kids don't see on a normal daily basis where we live. And it's just fun having that already incorporated into our language or map. And I do like how it uses wholesome literature and it's not like under the rug raunchy stories or like stories that have like bad attitudes it the stories teaches character i love how it's open to go thorough easy to use easy on the go now that is a big one it we have brought our curriculum with us to doctor's appointments and it's just easy to take it on the go um I like how it's affordable and there are options to print, there are free options to download and print it yourself math and language that really came in handy whenever I decided to switch back. It's really authentic and one of a kind and I trust the content inside, it emphasizes God and I know this was a big topic a few years ago um about jenny phillips how her religion is different than others but i really do appreciate how it emphasizes god and our own religion can be supplemented or added to the good and the beautiful's curriculum i just love the good and the beautiful curriculum i think we're going to stick with it um i do kind of already have our middle school I do have our middle school and high school planned out I know that sounds ridiculous that my kids are in the middle and upper elementary levels but if you want a video on that but if you want a video on that go ahead and comment down below I would love to share and talk with you about it but I incorporated other curriculums and planned out our science our history our math and our language for the rest of our homeschool career life school work years for all for my children that is another 
the video I should talk about. Anyway, I just, this is why we're switching back to the good and beautiful, simply because it's good and beautiful and it works for my children. I do love how it, <clears throat> I do love how they revise the language arts for my daughter. She, I printed out the level K, I bought the booster books and the booster cards and that really really helped the booster book and the booster cards really did help out and encourage her to read more also the free games that goes along with it and the app and the videos on youtube i really appreciate them going the extra mile and creating those for my preschooler she loves watching the videos and listen to the story times and the workout videos that they have my son is in currently doing level five math and language. He enjoys it now. He loves how they have the watercolor aspect in it and it's teaching him how to paint with watercolor. I think that you just have to trial and error until you find what works with your child with their specific needs and as well with you as the parent and teacher what works for you and especially your child now i made adjustments and if my kids need help with learning how to count money and there's a lesson in the good and beautiful that teaches money but they need also additional help i can source out worksheets or free printables and just have them work on that until they're mastered. it. Now, I like how The Good and Beautiful has a spiral approach. They learn something for a couple of lessons and they teach another lesson, but they also come back with it again. So I do love the spiral approach, even though some people like the mastery approach, but I like the spiral approach because it just builds upon lessons even though mastery you master a lesson and you probably move on and you probably don't touch on it again i like the spiral approach i do love all the nature and the beauty inside the languages and math i love how it incorporates geography spelling and vocabulary all really what you what a typical student may be missing out on or not experience i love how it is incorporated in each little lesson so this is why we switch back to the good and the beautiful i honestly do love the good and the beautiful disclaimer all opinions are my own that is it for this video go ahead and give this video a thumbs up go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you already not uh please consider subscribing if you love talking all about homeschool curriculum. Bye guys.